everyone. Welcome to Foresight TV with me, Anjali. A significant revelation by NASA on Wednesday highlights the presence of water and carbon in a sample extracted from asteroid Bennu, a celestial body dating back 4.5 billion years. This discovery offers further substantiation for the notion that the origins of life on Earth may be attributed to extraterrestrial sources. The abundance of these essential materials strengthens the theory of a planet's formation being influenced by elements from outer space. Let's delve into the implications of this groundbreaking finding, shedding light on the potential role of asteroids in shaping life as we know it. Here's a special report from Foresight TV. NASA Chief Bill Nelson expressed his enthusiasm for the discovery, stating that the collected sample from the 4.5 billion year old asteroid contains exactly the materials they were hoping to find. At a press event, Nelson revealed that the initial analysis revealed the presence of hydrated clay minerals indicating the abundant presence of water. Furthermore, Nelson highlighted the significance of the sample, explaining that it is the largest carbon-rich asteroid sample ever brought back to Earth. The carbon is found in both mineral and organic molecule forms within the sample. The mission responsible for obtaining this valuable sample is Osiris REX, which successfully collected rock and dust from Bennu in 2020. The capsule containing this precious cargo safely returned to Earth a little over two weeks ago and landed in the Utha Desert. Currently, the sample is undergoing meticulous examination in a specialized clean room at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston. While Japan has previously achieved the feat of collecting asteroid samples for study, the quantity of material obtained by Osiris REX sets it apart. Japan's Hayabusa's mission returned a mere 5.4 grams of material, whereas Osiris REX collected an estimated 250 grams of samples. NASA chose Bennu as the target for this mission due to its belief that similar asteroids may have delivered water and organic building blocks to Earth through ancient collisions billions of years ago. Additionally, Bennu's orbit intersecting with that of our planet made the round-trip journey more feasible compared to reaching the asteroid belt located between Mars and Jupiter. Researchers have primarily focused their efforts on the bonus particles surrounding the main sample. These particles consist of black dust and debris that coat the sample collection. During the collection process in October 2020, a piece of rock caused a flap meant to seal the sample to remain open. Consequently, some of the finer material escaped while the collection continued. However, this problem is regarded as positive since it signifies the abundance of material to be collected even if it takes longer than anticipated. A thorough examination of the remaining sample will follow at a later stage. It is believed that Bennu originated from fragments of a larger asteroid in the asteroid belt resulting from a massive collision between 1 and 2 billion years ago. The data gathered by the spacecraft has provided us with fascinating insights into the composition of Bennu's exterior. The discovery that the particles making up its surface are loosely packed akin to stepping into a pit of plastic balls highlights the delicate nature of this asteroid. This new found understanding is not only crucial for scientific purposes but also holds potential significance for our future. As we continue to explore and learn more about Bennu, this knowledge could prove invaluable if we ever need to redirect its trajectory away from Earth. While the chances of Bennu colliding with our planet are low until the mid-2000s, NASA warns us that the probability increases to around 1 in 1750 between then and the year 2300. By expanding our comprehension of Bennu's composition, we can better prepare for any potential risk and ensure the safety of our planet. Thank you for watching Foresight TV with me, Anjali.